Last week, I shared that David Garza is saying yes to the Lord. He's uh, going to be serving as our student ministries overseer. And we're excited about that because this is something that God is doing. And so instead of me telling you about David, who he is, and what, what he wants to do, and sharing his heart with you, he's here right now. And so, David, why don't you let him know? Well, hello there. I am David Garza. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you all for your prayers. And... Uh, I ask that you continue to pray for me and my family through this uh, process. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my better half is Albi Garza, Albesa. We do have a family of five girls, the oldest one being 20, the youngest being one. Today I wanted to just share with you as to why I am here and why I feel this call. You know, as I come to know the Lord in the last 10, 15 years, I can't remember exactly how many years. Um, you know, one of the things that I've read is that the Lord wants us to serve Him in, in different areas. You know, we're all called to do different things in the church. And uh, as I've been praying, this is something that has come up a few times in, 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 uh, in, in those prayers. And I feel that the Lord is calling us, uh, me and my wife both, to lead the student ministry for that reason. You know, as you see the world today and the way things are going, our children need God more than anything else. You know, there's so much corruption, so much uh, different things, peer pressure that children uh, get in the world. And, uh, you know, we just want to give them that solid foundation. My wife and I both have a heart to serve. We have a heart for the Lord. And all we want to do is obey Him and lift Him up and do what His will is. At the same time, I want to encourage you all that are looking or, or seeing this video, if you feel that the Lord has led you, you know, or you feel that tug that you might want to serve somewhere, come and talk to us. You know, I, I, I would love to sit down and talk to you about the student ministry. Pastor Troy would like to sit with you and talk to you about the student ministry or, or anywhere else. Uh, the big thing is right now is the children's ministry, the student ministry. We will get started very soon. And we will start meeting uh, before then. Uh, but if it's uh, if you feel that calling, uh, please reach out to us. Troy? So thank you guys for praying for us. I know you have been. Um, and if it's been on your heart to get involved, to serve the Lord, there's nothing like getting involved at the ground level of ministry. Um, you never grow more in the Lord than when you're serving Him. Not because it's something you're comfortable doing, but because it's something God's called you to. And you won't excel in anything as well as you will excel naturally in the things that God gives you, God calls you to. So I'm excited to see what God's going to do. Yeah, so one of the things that I've, I've, I've uh, felt throughout the years, you know, being obedient to the Lord, mm -hmm. the blessings, um, you know, things just go a lot smoother because, you know, you're not doing it for yourself, you're doing it for Him, and He sees your heart. So let God talk to you and, and obey him. He, he, he makes a world of difference. I don't need to add anything to that. <laughs> I was just going to say, if you feel like getting involved anywhere, get involved in the student ministry. Support David and Albie and the family and see what God might do in your life. No ministry is a stepping stone ministry. Don't get in to get somewhere else. Serve the Lord wherever there's opportunities. And there's no greater investment in the future, our children. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we'll see you guys soon in the student ministries. God bless.